What's up everyone, I'm Callum on Toast and in today's video I'm going to be showing you part 2 of my Holiday Cup battles running the team of Shadow Obama Snow in the lead and then Shadow ho -Oh and Chandelure in the back. I had lots of fun running this team, unfortunately it got to a point where I was seeing lots of double rock or rock hole as Wallower has uh, termed the team name and yeah obviously against double rock this team is going to get absolutely destroyed but otherwise it seemed to fare pretty well. If you haven't seen part one, then make sure you check it out. I'm gonna leave a little uh, pop up now. So uh, if you haven't seen it, then click on that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you some very close games. Some I was able to come back from really hard counter teams. Also some really bizarre games. Some games where my phone just absolutely went mental when uh, uh, actually locked itself. And yeah, just some really crazy games in this video. So. With that being said, let's just get into the video now. All right, so entering the first battle, we lead into a Talonflame, so this is awful. We're gonna switch into the Chandelure. We're met with a Water Gun Lantern. So we're gonna go for the Shadow Ball. This is gonna do a lot of damage, but it doesn't do enough to KO, and they're gonna be able to farm us down with Water Gun. This is not looking good at all. We're gonna come in with the Obama Snow. We're gonna tank whatever move they throw and we are going to powder snow them down and we should have at least a weather ball loaded by the time we take them out and we do we throw one more powder snow we're going to throw the weather ball and then we're going to switch into the ho -Oh. we get a shield so that's looking at least a little bit better but we're going to have to shield this it is a brave bird so it's a good shield but unfortunately they have a unovan stunfisk here so they're pretty much running the uh, direct hard counter team to my team. We let the discharge go through and we just barely survive. We're gonna undercharge this because we don't want to leave them with too little health because we wanna farm down with the Obama Snow. My opponent realizes this, so they stop attacking. So what I'm gonna do is throw one more incinerate just before we can switch out. And then we switch out there, snipe the Stunfisk and we're gonna get to another weather ball here. And we actually get the final shield there. So we're going to be able to hit the Brave Bird here. And a little bit of lag. Boom. We take out the Talon Flame. Uh, GG's there. Uh, I don't know how we came back from that game. Uh, that was really crazy. Into the next game, we lead into a Dugong. So this is actually a fairly neutral matchup. If we can land the energy ball, obviously that will be really great for us. But they're almost definitely going to shield. And they do shield. We're going to let the Icy Wind go through and then we're going to switch into the Chandelure and they also switch into the Talon Flame. so uh, that's, I mean, that's pretty good, I guess. Uh, we're going to get to the Shadow Ball here and boom, we take out the Talon Flame. So they must have like fairly poor IVs because a lot of the times when I throw the Shadow Ball, I usually need one more Incinerate and they actually took us out with an Aqua Jet there. So their Dugong their dugong is actually a triple legacy so that's crazy um i don't think i've ever seen dugong use aqua jet the reason i didn't shield is because it wasn't enough for water pulse so here we're going to do what we normally do save shields for the shadow ho -Oh, and just hope that we can take this game they are gonna throw two back-to-back -back charge moves they icy wind us both times and unfortunately we quit we click on the earthquake and they catch it on a trevenant <laughs> Oh my gosh, I felt so rubbish after doing that. And we have to throw here because um, if we don't throw, then they're gonna get to a move. And obviously the seed bomb wouldn't do too much, but like we've lowered our attack at this point. We do, did we catch that? No, we just fainted and we go down to the dugong there. So really good play by my opponent. Here, uh, I missed the start of the recording and then my system UI decided to just F up. Um, a lot of the time I blame Go Battle Leg for my poor experience, but in this case it was my phone being rubbish, so I'm not going to blame uh, Niantic for this one. But unfortunately it means that we lose that matchup here, and we are just going to let the Body Slam go through. I don't even remember what they have in the lead or what what this game was like. Uh, they come in with Altaria, we're going to go for the Brave Bird straight away. It does huge damage, we wait just a split second to see if they're going to switch and they didn't. So we switch out and fortunately they had a Unovan Stunfisk. So our, our Bomber Snow was looking pretty good there. But yeah, my, game, my phone did not help me out there. Into the next game, we lead into uh, another Dugong. Again, we're going for the Energy Ball. We probably should bait them, but I, I don't know, it's like... It's, 
if they call the bait, then pff, it's basically GG's. Again, we switch into the chandelier here. This time, I'm just praying that they don't also have Aqua Jet. They don't, so that's good. We let the Icy Wind go through. It doesn't, well, it does quite a lot of damage, but it doesn't do enough to warrant a shield. And we're gonna get to the second flame charge here, and this will be taking out the Dugong. They come in with an Alolan Marowak, and unfortunately, they're gonna be able to fire spin us down. So this is not looking great. We have a low health, a Bomber Snow, and a Shadow ho -Oh. And we go to come in with the ho and unfortunately we lagged there, so we went in with the Abomber Snow. So uh, I'm just praying that my Shadow Ho has a really good matchup against whatever's in the back. We throw the Brave Bird straight away because really we just need to get rid of this uh, Marowak. And they have a Vigoroth. We get the extra Incinerate through there, so that's quite good for us. Actually, that was very good for us. We're going to get to the Brave Bird here. This will get the final shield. And then they're going to get to the move before we can get to another Brave Bird. But to be honest, they might have actually been able to farm us down. And we're just barely able to get to the Weather Ball here. Will this KO? It does KO. And we're able to take that game. So GG's there. Uh, obviously a pretty good lead. And then it, it looked pretty dire once they brought in the Marowak and farmed us down. Into the next game, we lead into a Lickitung. This is a fairly neutral matchup, but we can't really switch into the Chandelure because of the Licks doing huge damage. So eventually we switch into the Ho-Oh to bait out their fire counter, which they do have, and it's a Stun Fisk. They get to the Discharge. We are at least going to get to the Earthquake here, and we'll either get a shield or we'll take them out. We do get the shield, so that's pretty much what I expected. I'm going to come in with the Abomber Snow, and I'm actually just going to throw the Energy Ball straight away. We can't really mess around here. We don't have much health, so if we do take a move from the Stunfisk, it will do quite a lot of damage. We're going to get to the Weather Ball here, and then we're going to... I think we're just going to let Abomber Snow go down, actually. We don't want to transfer the Charm, because we kind of need as much health as possible on the Chandelure. We get to the Charge move here. They didn't get to a move there, so that's good. And we're going to get to the Flame Charge here. I don't think this is going to do enough damage and it doesn't do enough. Uh, we will shield this and if it actually we decided to over farm there then maybe if we snuck an incinerate through on their charge move we could have won that but unfortunately we couldn't. We lead here into a frost last. We're going to switch into the ho -Oh, and again we're met with a stun fisk. So uh, you can see in this video I'm switching into the ho -Oh a lot and that's because I was met with a lot of stun fisk. We're going to go for the Earthquake again, and this should get a shield, so at least we're getting a shield advantage. And the Obama Snow has a really good matchup against the Stunfisk. This time we're full health, so we don't mind taking one or even two charge moves from the Stunfisk, so that we can farm up a bit extra. We tank the first Mud Bomb there. We're farming up extra, we're going to tank another Mud Bomb, or Discharge, whatever they throw. They throw the Discharge, and let's actually switch into the Frostless, so we're just going to go for the Energy Ball. And boom, that actually takes out the Frostless. I did not expect that, if I'm honest. But that's good. They switch into Vigoroth, so now we're going to come in with the Chandelure, and this should be GG's now. They could double bait us, but they're not going to get to a Bulldoze, so we're looking very good. We are going to shield it up. Obviously, it could be a Bulldoze. They do bait us, but like, there's nothing they can do now. We're going to get to the flame charge before they can even throw the second charge move. We take out the Vigor off, and at this point my opponent is going to concede the match. And GG's there, really well played, but unfortunately my team comp was just uh, slightly better in that scenario. I forgot to edit, it, edit that out, unfortunately. Into the next game, we lead into a stun fist, so this is a really good lead for us. We're going to let whatever they throw through. It is a discharge, so it does slightly more damage than the Mud Bomb, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to go straight for the Energy Ball. We get the KO, and then they have a Talon Flame, so we're going to switch into the Chandelure, and unfortunately they have an Alolan Graveler. We are just barely going to get to the Shadow Ball before they can throw a Charge move, but they're likely going to farm extra now, and they do, and now they have back-to-back -back Rock Blast, so there's no point in me shielding here. We let it go through, and it takes us out. We come in with the Abomber Snow, and we're going to have to shield this up. 
and then we're going to throw the charge move here and unfortunately we lagged there so uh, and we might have lost CMP anyway but it means we have to shield that and we're going to throw the weather ball we take out the graveler they come back in with the talon flame we're going to switch into the ho -Oh. this will force them to throw a brave bird because the flame charge obviously won't KO and uh, yeah so they had to throw the, the brave bird exactly when we got to it and now we're going to be able to get to the weather ball because they've lowered their defense by three stages this weather ball is going to take out the talon flame and there you have a bomber snow as a talon flame counter confirmed into the next game we lead into an alone graveler so awful matchup but they are running volt switch so there is kind of playable we lagged uh, by one turn at the start there so we don't get an extra move through they switch into the frost last so we farm up a little bit extra before switching into the chandelure we are gonna have to shield this it will do quite a lot of damage even though it's resisted and we're just gonna have to go for the flame charge straight away they come in with a figure off so this is kind of surprising but I'm guessing my opponent is reading that I'm running double fire in the back and obviously they're right because uh, I've got Shadow ho -Oh. so they're keeping the Alolan Graveler for that they actually switch it in here and that was a mistake we're gonna get to the Shadow Ball we're gonna take a shield and then switch straight away into the Abomber Snow hit the Energy Ball and we're gonna take out the Graveler there and at this point we're looking pretty good they need two Body Slams and the Counters to take out the ho -Oh, and they still need to land a Bulldoze to take out the chandelier so we're looking pretty comfortable here we're gonna throw one more incinerate and we are just gonna go for the brave bird but there's no need to hit the bubbles here because the Vigoroth is so low and we're able to take that game into the next game we lead into a deadeny uh, I always forget how you pronounce that I know uh, swag tips is uh, a huge fan of that Pokemon but yeah uh, the uh, name is just kind of gone blank for me anyways they switch into a Vigoroth we do shield once but we're able to take it out there and we're gonna throw two incinerates before we hit the flame charge and we do get a shield so that's good they're gonna over farm a little bit now and we're just gonna let the chandelier go down we come back in with the Abomber Snow and they switch into a Frostlass, so we're going to come in with the ho -Oh, And they get to an Avalanche, we know that we can survive this, so we're going to let it go through. We go to Undertap, and they took us out before we could hit the move, so that's like really annoying. And they get to the Avalanche again before we can get to a move, so we're going to have to shield this. And we're going to over farm here. We're going to throw the Weather Ball, we're going to undercharge this. And my opponent was not expecting that, so they stopped attacking and were able to farm down the Frostlass. And we're going to get to the weather ball here, get the final shield, one more powder snow, we get to another weather ball here. And we take out the deadeny and we're able to take that game. GG, super close game there, really annoying that the uh, I wasn't able to throw my move there. Into an Articuno lead, that's pretty bad for us, so we switch into the chandelier here. We go for the shadow ball. And we're able to incinerate them down before they even throw a move. And <laughs> my opponent just quits at that point. Uh, GG's there. Uh, they looked like they were running a fairly similar team, except, you know, they were both their Pokemon were like double weak to Rock. So I'm not really sure what they do against Graveler. We lead into a Sableye here. They actually switch out after they get a shield. So this isn't looking great for us. And we're actually just going to let this go through, hoping that it's a flame charge, and it is a flame charge, so that is good news. We're going to go for the shadow ball here, hopefully this is a CMP tie and they don't farm us down. We get the shield, and it was a CMP tie, so that is at least something. We're going to come in with the shadow ho -Oh, And we're just going to go for the brave bird straight away. Unfortunately, we I think we either lagged or we lose CMP here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Did we like or did we somehow lose CMP? I'm not sure. We're going to switch into the Abomber Snow really quickly, throw the Weather Ball, and it is enough to KO the Talon Flame at that range. They come in with the Sableye. We're able to get to an Energy Ball here, and boom, we take out the Sableye as well. 
and they come in with an Alolan Raichu, so this is not looking great. We need this Weather Ball to do huge damage. They do throw the, throw the move here. This is going to take us out despite being resisted. It's actually a Grass Knot, so that is good. And we're just barely able to incinerate them down. They would have got to the Wild Charge after five, which would have been when we took them out there. So super close there into, I think this might be the final battle. I think my opponent lagged one turn there, so we have the energy ball loaded now. Again, we're going to let the Rock Blast go through, and then we're going to go for the energy ball here. We get the shield, and now they end up throwing straight away, so I'm happy to let the Obama Snow go down with two shields. Uh, the Chandelure should be good, and they actually switch straight away into the Trevenant, so maybe they're running an ABV team, so maybe they have two graphs in the back. So we're able to incinerate them down. We throw the Earthquake here. They get a Volt Switch through, which is unfortunate, but it should happen. And then here, they somehow get three Volt Switches through before we can land the Brave Bird, and that shouldn't happen. So yeah, uh, they're at the back-to-back -back Rock Blast at that point. So if we landed the move there, we might have been able to incinerate them down, but unfortunately, we weren't able to. And that's gonna be the final game for this video. So that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then please leave a like, leave a comment letting me know. And if you're not subscribed yet, then do consider subscribing. It would really help me out. And uh, yeah, hope you all had a good Christmas. And I will at least be trying to put out one more Holiday Cup video. Although by the time it is out, Holiday Cup will be over. But it was a really fun team, so I'm sure you will enjoy it. And with that being said, thanks for watching and I will see you in that video.